Well, traveling solo can be amazing an experience, but there are some safety hazards you need to be looking out for when you're traveling alone. Imagine if you're a professional traveler. <laughs> How great would that be? I want to be, but that, thankfully we have one here. <laughs> I was just going to say, that's who's with us today. She's going to give you some tips on traveling safety. She is a vlogger. We just found this out. 15,000 subscribers <laughs> on YouTube. Yep. Shyla Hoheisel, great to have you here. Yeah, it's so Love nice what to you're be up here. to. Thank you. So everyone wants to be a professional traveler. How did you get into <laughs> right. this gig? Uh, I just started, honestly. About two years ago, I, I was working at a restaurant, and I had a few... I had like a month long trip that I was going on and they were like, if you want to come back, you're going to have to apply. And I was like, well, why can't I just move to Puerto Rico and apply for a job there? And literally that was the start of it. And so since then I've been doing video blogs on my YouTube channel, Living on a One Way. Eh? Yeah. Living on a One Way? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I wanted to come here and share these travel tips with you that I've learned mm -hmm. from traveling full time. And by yourself. And by myself for most of it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're literally traveling 52 weeks out of the year? Um, no, so I, what I do is I go live somewhere and try and get a job and work and Experience. kind of in, in, like get in the culture more than just like, oh, saw this, saw mm -hmm. this, this is great. Best place you've been is where? Alaska. For real? Ooh, mm -hmm. Alaska. We were just both talking about Iceland too. Yeah. And she said this is on her, her vision board, her bucket oh, list for, oh, this nice. year. for this year. And I was talking about it. I just <clears throat> looked at prices for airlines yeah. this morning because it's on my list. I you, know. It sounds like I was taking work, notes from you. Yeah. Did you work on one of those fishing boats in Alaska? I worked in a restaurant oh, along okay. the river. Wow. Mm -hmm. And now in three weeks, me and my boyfriend are leaving for New Zealand. That's going to be For great. two months. So when people are traveling alone or maybe with a partner, there's still a lot of safety concerns. You were talking about it this morning. You know, when you went alone, you were kind of warned, don't turn your back from a drink. But you even have some just generic ones every day when you're out there. Yeah. Yeah. So the two things that I want to show you are how to not be a tourist and then be a target and how to wear your stuff gear. Appropriate, yeah. gear appropriately so that, again, you're not a target. Okay. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you was cameras. We all have cameras when we're traveling because we want the perfect Instagram shot or the perfect family photo or something like that, right? So what you can do with your camera is take some duct tape. I learned this from a photographer in Nicaragua. And duct tape it up so that it looks all beat up, all beat up and nothing. So then you have these two compared to each other. Yeah. And you, if you're going to steal one of these, which one do you want to grab? Yeah. The well, nice one, right? The one without the duct tape and on And this it. one is the better camera of the two. So wow. it's just a good way to kind of disguise what you're looking at. Mm-hmm. The other thing that I want to mention is your wedding band. Okay. Beautiful, right? Yes. Yes. Well, in some countries... You're worried? No, no. <laughs> You're like, what's happening? No. <laughs> There's a... In some countries, a diamond wedding ring is not a common thing. So just by wearing that, you're a target. And oh. if someone's going to rob you, you have this sentimental value dilemma. And of course, you want to give it up, but you don't want to give it up. So what I recommend to people is to go to Target or Walmart and buy a $20 wedding band and swap it out for your trip. So if anybody, if you do have a confrontation, gone. No questions asked, right? It's $20, not something that's memorable and very right. expensive. Exactly. And same thing with phones. Everybody wants to take all the pictures and look at their directions. And I do those things and then put it away in a safe spot, especially with directions, because you don't want to be the person that's confused yeah. about where they are. And mm -hmm. that get, makes you a target. Mm -hmm. So walk like you've been there a thousand times, like you know exactly where you are, even if you don't. And then when you realize you don't know where you are, hop in a coffee shop and go look at your directions again. Maybe that's wow. what it was when I was clubbing in Rio. I just pretend like <laughs> you You probably look like right? you have you know no what I mean? idea what's yeah. happening. I feel like you'd be a good clubbing in Rio guy. You, see, I, I you seem like you blend it over. <laughs> look at she's laughing. I have pictures. But no, on, I the, think it's on the flight there, you must have looked like you had no clue what you were doing or where you were going. And that's why someone said, hey, you need to make sure you're careful. <laughs> that's so funny. So another big thing is a purse. So I'm going to have you throw this on. OK. However, just ha just be natural about it. I do like the crossbody bags, and that's what they say for traveling. Yep. They say wear the crossbody bags. And that's purses. exactly right. So the across your body is good because if it's on your shoulder, it's really easy to grab and run. The other thing is keeping it in front of you instead of behind so that it's in your line of vision and it's under your control. Uh. Mm. So what's really common, people who steal bags in markets or on trains are really good at it. They'll bump into you <clears> and grab your stuff. It's not something where you feel someone digging in your bag. It's immediate and done. Right. The other thing that people do is cut the strap and then run with your purse. Oh. So keep your hand on your purse or get like a little wristlet thing to go on it. There's also anti-theft purses that have a little wire or chain thing under the leather oh. so it can't get cut. 
Oh. oh, that's cool. I'll be like yeah. this when I'm walking around, <laughs> yeah. just boxing everyone out yeah. from my way. I'm going to go see the next tourist site. That, you'll be the anti-target. <laughs> Nobody's going to want to mess with you. They're going to be like, this one's crazy. I thought, I thought the best thing was just going to those shirts is don't hassle me. I'm a local. Yeah. No, I think you'd blend in again really well. Did you wear that in Rio? <laughs> totally. I'm a local. <laughs> so the other thing is a backpack. Do you want to put this on? Sure. Should we gear you up in this? Yeah. Chris this, Berg's getting geared up. This is a Gregory backpack, and I'm a brand ambassador for them. Oh, you missed it. It might be, I might have to make it bigger for you for the suit. This isn't the typical outfit. So, yeah, this is not sized for you, but that's okay. But it's going to go around your waist, and it's going to take the pressure off of your hips. So, literally, you could do jumping jacks or anything like that with it. I nice. love traveling with the backpack because it's, it's one unit. You don't right. have to worry about cobblestone roads in your bag, or you can slide into a train real quick, and it gets you out of a lot of sticky situations just by being part of you. Wow. And that's what I like about it. Then you it. dump this at the hotel room and... And then you're out, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good job. You wore that well. Thanks. With a suit. Right? <laughs> so I have other... I Like I said, I have a YouTube channel, Living mm -hmm. on a One Way, and I have a whole playlist on tips abroad for solo female travelers or for how to book your next trip and different things like this. And today, actually, I just announced I'm doing a giveaway for Gregory. Ooh. Yes. So if you're going nice. on a trip and you want a did pack. You go to Kings, Land, Kings Island? In I Washington? was just there, yeah. But did you go to... Oh, Kings Island? No. Uh, um, so... <laughs> if you want a pack, you interrupted her. I want to know how to oh, get sorry. a free one. You're like, wait, I want one. <laughs> you, I'm, I just put on my YouTube channel this morning, I'm doing a giveaway with Gregory. Mm -hmm. And so you have to go on my channel... There's a list of things. You have to comment about which pack you want, follow Instagram and Facebook. And then- I want this one, because it's here. <laughs> seriously, these are great packs. They have all sorts of compartments for your shoes and for everything. So how can they go and find your YouTube channel and get on your vlog? All the things. Yeah. <laughs> living on a one way. So living yeah. on one way tickets is kind of how the name came about, but it's the same on Facebook, YouTube, mm -hmm. Instagram. We got about 10 Good tips. Uh, are there tips of that too for female females that want to travel solo and that kind of stuff? Yeah, the wedding ring and the purse and different things. I mean, do you feel like... Oh, are you safe? Yeah. The biggest thing is the confidence. Yeah. If you walk around like you know where you're going and you are aware of your situation and you're not doing these things that... Seriously, and you're not making yourself <laughs> a target. I love her face. I was like, dude, did you just hear what I said? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> like,